Yo, yo, what's up, guys? It's Hinat Gashi here, the Ringfluencer. In the newest episode of the Ringfluencer, we are going to visit Eagle Muay Thai. It's a traditional Muay Thai gym. It's here close on the Soi Tayat. It's family owned, and I heard that they uh, have some of the best fighters there over. I'm gonna check it out. So, we have already Tiger Muay Thai, we have Monkey Muay Thai, now we have Eagle Muay Thai. We have like almost a complete zoo of animals Muay Thai. Boom! Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now. What is also so special about this episode is that I found finally in Thailand a guy who has more tattoos than me. My dear Mel, who get Thailand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also, it is the birthday of Tolga. So we're gonna go tonight to a crazy restaurant and also show you some crazy new things on the street. You will love it, guys. You will love it. Our future serial killer, David, is here. Today is my birthday. I'm very happy we go to a new gym. But I'm uh, more happy that we go to eat something today. I'm very hungry and I don't want to walk too much. It's too warm here. Life is not so good, man. We have only one problem. We are three people and we have only one bike. But today is his birthday. We do exception, okay? We do exception. Okay guys, we have one small problem. We are all without helmet and we have three people on a bike. We are approximately like 350 kilograms. So if the police stop us, we have a really problem. So either we die on the way to the gym or we get arrested. Let's see how it goes on. It's like a wonder. We not got arrested. And we are alive. Eagle Muay Thai. Damn. Take the 55. <laughs> okay, so I the cup. My name is Wan Mai. I'm the owner of Ikan Muay Thai. Welcome to Ikan Muay Thai. In my gym, it's welcome everyone to the fighter and beginner. The gym guys looks just amazing. They have different version of heavy bags. They have rings. And what I never saw is that the rings are complete built of concrete. It is like ridiculous. And also the coaches, they seem to feel here very nice. Of course, they are sleeping all the time. Small boys kick here, here and there. But I am a big boy. I kick here, man. Look. It seems like there is a miscommunication. We booked the training for 2.30, but nobody is here. So... And one of the other coaches is sleeping. So what are we gonna do? We need again to wait. Perhaps we can learn now some secret techniques from our monk. For me today, no training. But my students can train here. One hour later. Me, my name, Kukit. Welcome to Ikan Muay Thai. Okay, now finally a coach arrived. And this guy, I don't know. I saw him already in Sing Patong. I saw him already in Top Team. And now he's here. Oh, most people, when they go to Thai gym, they take their shoes off. I think I'm the only one 
will take his shoes off. Looks like I'm not the only one with shoes today. Now we start with the warm up and I'm excited. Let's get it on. Small and short warm up. Now we should already rub the hands. Hi, my name is Brit. I'm from Germany and I'm a Muay Thai fighter. Before I've also had some K1 fights. And I'm here now for more than one year training every day and I really love the atmosphere. I love that the groups are quite small and I really like that the coaches are taking care of everyone, every customer, no matter what level they are in. I don't know if this girl is a good fight or not, but her eyes are so beautiful. What the fuck? The manager straight took her number. Wow. If you ask 10 different fighters how to wrap their hands, everybody will tell you something different. But I can tell you what all 10 fighters will have in common. It's the wrist and the thumb. Because this is the part where something can break. So the focus should every time be on these two parts. If you do over your knuckles or not, it's up to you. For myself, I never do over my knuckles. For example, you see the coach, he just used a simple wrap to do his hands. So he, he just do on his uh, wrist and on his thumb. Because that's the main focus where the power get released. And also what is crazy, when you punch with your hand on the ring, it's like a powder cloud is coming. What is that? It looks like the guys started already with the pets. I'm really excited. I can tell you guys these gloves are the best for petting and you will see why. They have a natural shape of the fist so you don't need to put power and like this you have also more power. Yeah? And it's out of uh, halal cow level. What do you want? Alhamdulillah. Hello, my name is Samwa. Um, I'm training here in um, Igun Muay Thai, and I really like the atmosphere here. Atmosphere here, it's really friendly. The coaches really treat you like family. They take care of you. They really show you how to make um, perfection your technique, and I really enjoy the setting and the coaches. Also, one thing in Thailand, they say. If you go under the ropes, you're a woman. The men, they go over the ropes. But here the ropes are fucking high. How should I do that? <laughs> After this act, climbing over the ropes, I think I'm now a woman. Fuck. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, that he's actually a Muay Thai coach. This guy is very technical. And also the tools that he uses are very variable. Check this extended arm. This is good for defense and counter punches. In this exercise, you can see David is doing a punch. And after his combination, he's moving. So he's like trying to implant this movement after the punch. It's very important. Because most of the fighters, they do a combination and they just stand still. Like, hit me now. Now the manager wants to know if he can hit me. They don't know I'm from the 300. This is Sparta! And also here in the gym is a guy, I heard he's a Muay Thai fighter from Australia and he speaks even Thai. 
He looks like a Thai. He has Thai tattoos. He's missing even the tooth like a Thai. I'm excited. My name is Dylan Top. I am 21 years old. Uh, I've been in Thailand for around 3-4 years. I came to Eagle because my, my trainer from Australia was from Eagle, so I, I followed him here. And I heard also that you speak Thai, yeah? It's mm -hmm. very uncommon. Can you say everything in Thai, what you just said? I when I'm not wrong, this is a winning pets. With this pets, they're very good for the coach because they, they don't hurt so much to coach the hold for the fighter. And like this, you can increase as a fighter the speed. It's very nice and a different method. Again, you get a different flow. <laughs> Bad news guys, bad news, I destroyed my shoes. What is your favorite boxing combination? One, two, uppercut, hook, toy, lam tua, two times. Shot the combination there is one, two, uppercut, hook, cord, but body shot two times. One, two, up, hook, cross, body two. Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna let it do David because he's orthodox, and I'm gonna do this assault pull. Let's see what looks cooler. Yeah. Guys, if you want to know how you can knock everybody out, just follow the channel. Boop, boop, boop. I tell you guys, this coach have every kind of different pets. Also this, how I call it, you for pet, is very nice for power shots and you can work with it inside. Look how the guys are working. You know what's funny guys, if you say to Thais to speak in English, they speak in Thai. If you tell them to speak in Thai, they speak in English. They really understand nothing. Therefore, I need not to smash. Hi, my name is Johnny. I'm originally from Austria, Vienna, but I'm living currently in Germany. I'm training here at Eagle Muay Thai because I feel like it's a very authentic Muay Thai gym and I really love how close everybody is and it's like a big family. I show one of my favorite partner exercises. Therefore, we take a partner, which is our size. Yes, David, have not the size, but anyways, he's the only one right now here. And uh, we stand foot on foot square, change punches. Everybody two punches. We try to get a, a hole and to open and to hit them. Nice. So the training is over. Now we're gonna do a proper stretch out. And uh, yeah, it was very interesting. This guy is very technical. I'm not joking. I like that he uses uh, different utilities. It's also very rare Muay Thai to find. You see most coaches they use either big pets or small pets and that's it. But this guy, he saw mistakes and he worked on that. Nice. Also a very nice exercise. If you don't feel really tired after the workout, you, you can do some, um, some nice planks. They strengthen your core and increase your power. And it's a nice uh, conditioning exercise. I like to do it after training, mostly three minutes times three. After every workout, um, I like to do my own uh, stretch out because the most coaches, they don't know where my um, injury zones are. So 
I like to work on them by myself. Hello guys, now I show you a real special technique, not shit like this what you see. Fatality! So we are now done with the gym. We have now a very important appointment on the soil. We just need to get to change my outfit and then we're ready. Oh my God, I never meet a guy like Senat Gashi. He must every time change his outfit because his colors must be the same. Red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black. He goes shitting in the toilet and he must change his outfit. Sick for gentlemen. It's very important to shit with Thai guys, you know. This helmet on the scooter is red and black. I, I wish I want to eat something. I'm thirsty. Okay, stop, stop. Thank you very much. We've come to Eagan. Okay. Thank you. With money, you're everywhere welcome. What is also cool about the gym here, I didn't realize before, is that here are like uh, bedrooms. So the fighters can also live here. It's everything in one fucking room. It's fucking awesome. I love it. They have like an open kitchen where they chill together. A sofa area. Wow. I want to be here too. Oh shit, guys. Do you see this behind me? So tonight it's Tolga's birthday and we're gonna go to a very expensive restaurant. Now we're gonna see the one who has the last points have to pay the bill. Oh, yo, yo. So guys, we are now changed and now we are heading to the Soy Tayat. There is a new company which offers body measurement tests and it's quite interesting because you can see your studs and they measure really everything, not just your fat. They measure your left biceps to your right bowl. So it's quite interesting to know how the training affects us and let's take a look. Come on, boom, boom, boom. Hi, my name is Richie and I'm the sole distributor of uh, Psycho 3D Body Scanner. Okay, uh, Psycho Body Scanner is actually the most accurate body scanner available on the island where you can really see how people can transform and see themselves in 3D. So these are like real visuals with body measurements and complete body composition. So it has to be tried once if people want to transform their body and see the better themselves in the future. They should try this. This is where the magic happens, and I'm really excited for my studs. I'm not the woman in my best shape, but let's see what the numbers say, yeah? Uh, now we're going to do a complete scan, okay? So to do the scan, you need to be in your boxers, okay? Uh, just boxers, no top, no, no shirt, and we will see all the measurements and your body in 3D. So the example is just like this you know, on the screen. So once we do the scan, it takes about 35 seconds to do the scans, one minute to create your account, and then you will see your body in 3D, where we will see all the measurements, your body composition, and we can plan a fitness goal for you, and you will see the calories, how much calories you can eat to achieve the goal you want to set for yourself. Also, where many men do mistake, they don't take the socks off, the ladies know. When, when the suit is straight, then I tell you that you can step up. Okay, hold up. Two thousand years later.
Thank you so much and see you soon. I hope I'm sure. He's, he's on a mission now. He's on a mission now. He's on a mission now. <laughs> Now guys, we're gonna go to sleep because tonight is a big night, it's Torga's birthday and he need to spend some money, you know, boom! Five hours later Tonight is uh, one special night, it's the birthday of this man, yeah? So tonight uh, we're gonna go a little bit fine dining and we're gonna show you one of the best restaurants here in Phuket around. But therefore we need to drive to fucking Patong. As you see guys, the traffic can be here really crazy. Sometimes you see on the bikes with two people driving, with one people, with three people, and the record with six people. It's just ridiculous. Hello, today is my birthday. I'm very happy to be Senat's friend. We go now to a very good restaurant and eat some very delicious beef wagyu up in Japanese. Mama rice from Turkey. So guys, as you see, we are here now in Patong. They call it the Sin City of Thailand. The street is full of prostitutes, red light discreet, party, alcohol, alcohol pops, fast cars, fast ladies. But on the other side, we just have a Muslim part. So it's crazy. We have on one side complete haram and one side complete halal. Everything is fine, the food is delicious, and the service is superb. I'm really excited what our friend David has to say about it. This is exactly what I thought. He's stunned. <laughs> Here we have the Wagyu A5. It's like the highest marbling. We have levels from A1 to A5. It's so high at the level, it's so high at the marbling. That means the fat. And this steak, just take a look. It's so awesome. It's so tender. Phuket pineapple and Swiss mushroom. Yeah, so we have a Phuket boy. Burger, cheese. No, cheese here. The food was uh, very delicious. The restaurant is very nice. Atmosphere here, the people here, my cousins. And today is my birthday. I'm very happy. Like I said in the beginning, the food was superb. Uh, the atmosphere is very nice. And they explain every card so you know what you eat. And if you understand good about food, you also can guess the tastes before they serve it. I love it. I'm really excited of my friend David. I mean, he was like 10 years in jail. So this is probably the first time in his life that he had food like that.
So guys, that's it for the today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it and you see Thailand is not so cheap how you think, but the food can be also very delicious and superb. Boom, boom, boom.